were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. And they're overwhelmed, literally making it up as they go along. We're in totally uncharted territories. You get any nuclear engineering book, look at the last chapter, and this scenario is not contained in the last chapter of any nuclear engineering textbook on the planet Earth. So they're making it up as they go along, and we are the guinea pigs. And now higher statistics in cancer rates, heart attacks, and birth deformities worldwide. One out of every two men and one out of every three women will be diagnosed with cancer. You are being lied to, and they are laughing at you as you follow along with and believe in their lies. Famous chef dies from Fukushima. Fatima Ali, she lost her battle with cancer. You know, Fatima Ali, she ate lots of seafood. And I first found out about this through Rad Chick's Wigner Effect Group. She's been tracking the sick and dead celebrities and the numbers have really been piling up. I just wanted to let you know about this because it's the likely possibility of Fukushima had killed this famous top chef, Fatima Ali. She died from bone cancer and tried chemotherapy. She thought she was on her way to recovery and was hit with the bad news that the cancer had returned. Fatima was giving a year to live. Fatima Ali was a beautiful young lady with a promising career ahead of her, and Fatima's life was stolen from her by Fukushima radiation. It only takes a couple of internal emitting strontium-90 particles to cause a cancer. Did you know 5 billion becquerels of strontium-90 flows into the sea every single day? The radioactive contaminants are bioaccumulating in big fish. They eat the little fish that eat the toxic algae. Every tuna tested off the coast of California came back positive for Fukushima radiation. Shafidi said her go-to post-workout snack is salmon wrapped in seaweed. An ocean biologist had done research north of San Francisco on the coast soon after the Fukushima meltdowns. Soft tissue animals like sea stars were devastated. Sea lions and other sea mammal babies were dying. The mom's milk was radiated measurably and killed the babies. Now I can hear people saying, how dare you speculate on this woman's death? The family is suffering and needs space. But if you really want to get people's closure, you need to find out what's happening so this doesn't happen to any of her family, friends, or fans. Ali was a big seafood eater. She loved eating paella, which has rice, it grows in water and usually seafood is added. Especially love to eat squid. Fatima Ali did a lot of cooking on the west coast of California. She was preparing fish tacos and all types of seafood dishes after the Fukushima meltdowns. Tuna, caviar, salmon, crab, shrimp, lobster, seaweed. She knew how to present these dishes and any one of them could have given her cancer from Fukushima. Her Instagram culinary pictures seemed to have started around 2013, a couple of years after the Fukushima was releasing hundreds of tons of radiation to the ocean every day. Fatima would say, you can never have too much Parmesan cheese. Cheese is known to have strontium-90 that mimics calcium. Strontium-90 is a bone seeker and causes leukemia and cancer of the bones. You know there are hundreds of articles on her death, but not one journalist is trying to be the detective here to figure out why she got cancer. And I can tell you with almost certainty that it was her diet of seafood and cheese that led to her cancer. It's quite simple. You are what you eat. Anti-nuclear activist Kevin Blanche has been telling people since 2011 to stay on tuna. Heck, even the mainstream media said all the tests of the Pacific tuna have Fukushima radiation. Internal exposure to a radioactive isotope in the human body is a death sentence. The radioisotopes get lodged in your tissue of your organs and continue passing out energy for years, and eventually tumors form. Chemotherapy just delays the inevitable, and usually the cancer will come back stronger because the immune system is destroyed. You see, chemo cannot rid the body of radiation that continues to bombard your cellular structures and slicing through your DNA. When I looked at Fatima with no hair, I saw my own mother and father who had lost hair due to chemotherapy. Luckily my mom survived, but my father's immune system 
was so compromised he picked up an infection and could not recover. You need to tell your family and your friends about Fukushima meltdowns in the Pacific and how it's not safe anymore to eat seafood. Maybe some people will listen and you save their life. Many people do not even know what Fukushima is. Fatima Ali had one hashtag, fuck cancer. Perhaps this is a revelation that Fukushima gave her the cancer. Being on the west coast is also a risk from storms and fog that develop over the Pacific Ocean and blow fallout on the shore. If you live near the west coast, you should move at least 100 miles inland. The signs are everywhere. We've been fed a fake dream that nuclear power is safe and green and too cheap to meter, but now nuclear is destroying the very essence of life itself. By breaking uranium atoms into pieces, we have released a Pandora's box onto this world, which has never be the same again. The genies out of the bottle will not go back in. Your prayers will not be enough to stop it. Your grief without knowing what is killing you cannot challenge it. If your fallen loved ones deserve justice and truth, when you wipe away the tears, I hope you get angry. Sadness is not enough to stop the madness. You must be a fighter if you want to survive. We are living through a nuclear holocaust. Our children are dying of cancer in unexplainable rates. It is now projected half the population will get cancer. The other half will die of strange illnesses that are brought about by radiation. The medical industry is set to make a killing. Trillions of dollars will be taken away from families and hoarded by the medical industry in a desperate attempt to save loved ones. Cancer is an epidemic. Before nuclear power, cancer was very rare. Hardly anybody would become cancerous. Fukushima was one of the largest nuclear power generating stations in the world. Fukushima had been storing nuclear waste for the last 50 years on top of those reactors that blew up into the air. The atomic testing was bad, but nuclear warheads do not have all the many radioactive dollars you would find through a full fuel cycle. Fukushima released more radiation than a full nuclear exchange between the US and Russia. So am I saying the nuclear disaster from Fukushima is worse than World War III has already happened? Yes I am. Most of that radioactivity is in the ocean. The water acts like a shield to some degree, same reason they store the nuclear waste in pools of water. Eventually most of the ocean will die and the oxygen levels will collapse. People that continue to eat seafood will pass away and probably not even know why they got sick. By the way, Facebook continues its censorship of the word Fukushima. Facebook will autocorrect Fukushima to Fukuyama, a city in southern Japan. You would think after seven years Facebook would have got the memo, but they don't care about your safety or well-being. I noticed when I talked about Fukushima on Japanese message boards, Facebook would scramble up my posts. I believe this is a tool used to implement the State Secrecy Act. PR firms like the Japan Times are saying people are moving back to Fukushima now and the water quality is good. What a bunch of bullcrap. Did you know that Japan Times was recently caught by a public relations firm? Here's the corporate motto. Designing executive strategy communication on a global level through aggressive communication by executives, getting trust and sympathy from stakeholders will maximize corporate values. Just because they move people back does not make it a safe place to live. If you did some research, the only reason some of the people have returned because if they don't go back to Fukushima, they will lose their government benefits. 38,000 children were tested in Fukushima through March of 2012. 13,646 were found to have thyroid lumps or cysts by the prefectural medical staff. That's more than a third of the children with thyroid abnormalities. If the tests were done today, that numbers would even be higher. You know what they have to do to save those children. It's a rough surgery. It used to be called a Chernobyl necklace. And it leaves you with a scar from ear to ear around your neck. Now it's called a Fukushima necklace. I used to eat seafood three times a week. Now I feel an urge to do sushi restaurants and scream, Don't eat the fuku! You're committing harikari! Japanese ritual suicide by disembowelment. Now Fatima also grew up in New York. Cuomo is a nuclear lap dog. They tell him to sit, fetch, growl, he'll do whatever for a little treat. Didn't Como promise to shut down Indian Point? I also saw a story that most of the ocean will be dead by 2040. After Fukushima, Germany dropped nuclear cold turkey, and we should have done the same. There's no way to fix it or stop it. It's slowly killing us all. Wouldn't you think they've learned their lesson and shut it down, and the rest of the nuclear power plants to stop it from happening again? 
Even Steven Spielberg and his family lived on an island on the west coast and owned several businesses. And when Fukushima went, he immediately moved his family and friends to the coast of the northeast U.S. Northern Hemisphere is being genocided. They want to reduce the population under 1 billion. They can also make a heck of a lot of money in chemo and cutting out tumorous organs, taking another dead person's organs, ice them down, and transplant them out. Dialysis clinics are so common, you're likely to find them on all these strip malls. I did hear the Japanese made a deal with Brazil to send a colony to reestablish itself in Brazil. Most people have no idea how much the Fukushima meltdowns are getting them sick. Do not stay quiet while the silent slaughter is happening. Share this video. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for your support. And stay untuned. take this trip with me let's wake up a few people peace providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance